Hi guys, I'm London Stella with Young Hollywood, and I'm gonna spill the tea on my tune, Kissing Other People. Some Earl Grey. Not gonna lie to you guys, I've never made tea in my life, but Earl Grey is like, the popular, like, I know that's a good tea, so we're gonna go with that. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Cute. And when the days get cold, put away your summer clothes. When the summer days get cold, put away your summer clothes. In the verse, it's just kind of giving metaphors of things that you know it's very clear that something's ending. There's no room for question or like wondering. And it's just like, that's kind of a, there's a certainty in that. And this is just a, a metaphor for that of just knowing that the summer is over when you're putting away the summer clothes. Typically I handle transitions pretty well, but I do get bored in a certain sense of like, I like the change and I like like different like pace. And obviously my life is like very much consists of that, of just like constant movement and change. And like, I think because that's what I'm so used to, I do crave it like subconsciously, but I really like stability and like and just v things being very consistent as well. But I think if, if that was my whole life and I didn't have any change or like things switching up, I would get very bored. I am Canadian, so I feel like I have to say that I'm not cold, like I like the um, colder weather. But I definitely, I don't know, I like it both. I, I like, like my dream vacation is in a snowy like situation with like mountains versus like a beach, so probably I would say that, yeah, not as much of a summer girl. But how do you know, how do you really know that you're not okay anymore? But how do you, how do you really know that you're not holding on anymore? I think this is kind of, like I was saying before, like using the metaphors and the verses, and then this is kind of just like the really like a question that's just pretty blatant and that you would ask yourself like, when is that point when you like really know that you've moved on or really know that you're kind of like over that person or just that you're like feeling good about yourself. Maybe it's not even about the other person anymore. And it's just like, how do I know that I'm feeling good again? Kissing other people is definitely like one of the many things that you know. Um, that, that it kind of clarifies that like you've moved on and that you're on the way up. Um, for dramatic effect, we made it that it's like the only <laughs> the only thing that you need. But yeah, I think it definitely helps when you're kissing somebody else and it's like you're no longer like imagining the other person's face on them and you're not like thinking about them or feeling like you're cheating or feeling guilty for it. But I think, yeah, I think that's one of the many things that kind of add to that feeling of like feeling free of it all and moving on and yeah, definitely on the way up. It's been different for me with like different people, but like if someone like is like morally like not in line with me, I'm like can go so cold turkey and I never miss them and I'm like, I don't even know you ever existed. But if it's like a if it's like a real like heartbreak, which I've only really been through like once, I don't even know if it's it's as intense as it could be, but um, I think that it's really just when you don't feel, I don't know, when you feel free of them and you, when you feel free of that sadness and when you can like genuinely look at someone else and be like, you're cute and like I can see myself with you. Cause like there's a, there's a long period when it's like true heartbreak that like nobody else even looks like remotely close to appealing to you. Um, and I think when you get past that, like that's when you, that's when you know. Losing myself in the new someone. That's all I know, I'm really moving on. Cause I don't feel guilty kissing other people. Losing myself in a new someone, that's how I know I'm really moving on, kissing other people. This is kind of like, I guess the moment where, in the song where you kind of, there is that thing of like, the question has been answered and like this is, this is how I know. Um, and like I've been saying, just kind of, that is like one of the many things that it does help, it, it clarifies it all and it makes kind of like a, a thing in your brain where you're like, okay, cool, now I'm like, I can kiss other people and not feel bad about it. I don't know how or why, but I really just go cold turkey. <laughs> like, I don't know what, I don't know what's wrong with me, but like, I just like, don't ever look back. I'm, I, I seriously, 
<laughs> sounds so bad. I'm like, literally, like, I, I can just do it so, like, seamlessly. It's like the Leo in me. I can just do it way too well. But um, I think ultimately, like, knowing, knowing and being, like, very aware of, like, um, your worth, it sounds so cheesy, but, like, knowing that doesn't have to do with you and that whatever it was, like, happens for a reason is, like, very comforting to me. And I really, like, live by that of just, like, everything happens for a reason. And so just, like, having that knowledge is kind of, like, my remedy, I would say, and just, like, being very aware of that. Typically, like, writing about heartbreak it does come easier and it's easy to not sound cheesy, I think is the thing. And like writing kind of melancholy stuff is like always, I'm more drawn to that. But I'm very much like right now in the process of falling in love and I'm like, oh, that's all I want to do is write about it. And this is the only time where I've ever felt that. So I don't know, it's kind of like sw split down the middle for me right now. Typically breakup does come easier because you're sad and you just want to like get it all out and you're like flushing all that out of your system. But they're kind of, they're both, when it's, when it's real, either one, it's like a real emotion, they're both pretty easy to write about. And now it's all green lights, all the doors open. And now it's all green lights, all the doors open. This is at the beginning of whatever the new thing is that you're feeling and the new person or, I mean, that's what I was writing about specifically in this, but I think for a lot of people it can just be just doors opening in your own life and not even um, about another person necessarily or another relationship, but just that of like the beginning stages of, of falling into somebody new. Oh my God, I love this question. I do believe in love at first sight because I felt it. I really felt it and I'm feeling it right now with the same person. Um, I do believe in love. I feel like, I think, this sounds again, I'm getting really in my head right now. I don't know why. <laughs> but like, I think that like ultimately like your energy introduces yourself before you even get to. So like, I think you, we're all just energy. So like we feel each other's energy like more than anything. And I think from afar you can feel someone's energy like a thousand percent. And I think if you lock eyes and it's just like, there's something like some magic cosmic thing that happens, like I a thousand percent believe it. And I felt it legit have. Dating green flags. I mean, there's so many. I think um, being really considerate is something I'm like really aware of and being like thoughtful, like which I, I think really are the same kind of thing and just like a personality trait of like someone being very aware and very like thoughtful, especially at the beginning um, and being just really considerate of what you want or what you don't want and, and asking questions and all those things. I think it's pretty like common sense, but also it's easy to like not have that and still crush on the person and then you just realize down the line that they should have asked me more questions or they should have been more thoughtful. But that's definitely something that I'm really drawn to. Red flags, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. Um, I mean, any sort of game whatsoever is like massive red flag to me. Any sort of like, when I can tell that someone's saying something to get me to think something or to get me to say something back, I'm like, and I can tell that they don't really mean it. It's literally just like a, some sort of like anything slimy and like game-like and I only just, I, I want you to say what you mean and I think that's the biggest thing and like there's a lot of a lot of game players out there, and that is a red flag for sure. You can't begin again until it ends. You can't begin again until it ends. It means exactly what it's saying, um, just that you really can't move on until it's fully over and until you've completely come to terms with it and completely like feel okay with that in yourself, and then you can start whatever new or, or not start whatever new and just like embrace solitude for a second. But either way, you can't really move on until it's over. You can definitely meet the right person at the wrong time and the wrong person at the right time. I think there's like timing is everything. But I also, okay, wait, maybe I take that back. Cause I think that like, I mean, okay, you can feel like they're the right person at the wrong time. But I feel like everything like is aligned just as it's supposed to be. So. I don't necessarily think it's like the right person at the wrong time, maybe it is, but I feel like I just kind of trust that like it's happening as it should and like it'll circle back if it's supposed to, but I don't know that I would think that it's like the right person if it didn't work out. I'm like, it wasn't the right person, but. I love Rufus to Soul a lot. I think that'd be a cool collaboration because it's very different than anything I've done. I love Tim Paula, Beach House, anything like that. Um, if I could DM, 
any person on Instagram and knowing that they would reply would be Stevie Nicks. And I would just tell her my love for her is overflowing. <laughs> if I had to listen to any song on repeat for a whole month, it would be right now um, Back to Life by Child. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Lennon Stella, and you can check out my song, Kissing Other People, in the video out now.